though today is technically, you know, supposed to be game day, you know, but <laughs> since it's technically like starting like two out, two and a half hours late, I uh, just want to do just a little bit of chatting and stuff. Let me see if I could also... Mm. Yeah, welcome! <laughs> Yeah, I got my flu shot today. That's why stream was so, you know, late and stuff. Ugh. My arm's a little sore. But, eh, I'll be fine. <laughs> you chose a bad time, so now it's gonna buffer more. Oh, darn. Oh, no. <laughs> went the wrong way. Yeah. <sighs> My tea is still pretty hot. So see it it burns. things that I may have possibly done. that I've done <clears throat> since yesterday. I did work on sucrose a little bit. I did wine a little bit more. Not a lot, <laughs> but I did a little bit. Oof, it really is buffering. Oh dang. Hope I my stuff. some panels and uh, I think trying to make a mental note of like all things that I, I want to do in the future. Ooh, like a list of games that I want to play. So I think that Wednesday will be like my sort of like whatever day. Like, <laughs> you'll download later. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't be going on for too long. But, uh, yeah. So, what was I saying? 
Ah, dang it. Oh, yeah, uh, so I'm thinking of making Wednesday my, like, whatever day. So, like, I'll probably usually... Ah, this is why. So, basically... This would like, stop being stupid, that would be amazing. Okay, there we go. But, um... <clears throat> so, Monday will definitely be art. Yeah, Monday will definitely be art stream. And then Wednesday, uh, I mean, I guess it depends on, like, you know, like, whether or not I did a lot of work. Sort of, like, last week. Like, starting to work on, like, line arting and stuff. But, like, I can also, because, um, on Monday, I'll probably have finished shading through cross type it. So... I'll probably maybe stream like something more chill on uh, Wednesday. Like Wednesdays can be my more chill day. <laughs> I mean, that might just be like an occasional thing too. Yeah, it might just depend on, you know, how well done, well, uh, you know, so it'll, so, uh, Wednesdays will probably, like, you know, most likely be like, you know, art, you know, left over from Monday. a list in panels, like what I play and stuff. I don't know. Facebook likes to keep freezing on me. But I want to play something more chill since right now Fridays is amnesia. Well, usually amnesia. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely should. Which leads me to think, like, what should I play? Like, I still don't quite know how to, um, stream no PS4 games yet. I need to figure that out eventually, but, like, I do want to stream more than just Amnesia. As fun as amnesia is, <laughs> it's spooky. It's very spooky. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm trying to look at my Steam games I have. Some chill games I could probably play. I could, like, for chill things, I could probably stream, like, House Flipper. Pumpkin Days, I could do that. Stardew Valley. Just some more chill things, you know. But I think that would be good, streaming some Pumpkin Days. Because it's almost finished. We're out of early access, technically. And uh, I don't know if you heard me before. 
From the time I took to come back and your dad bought about 14 different types of chocolate. I fail to see how that's a problem. I don't, I don't see how that's a problem. That sounds great. <laughs> well, that's probably just my sweet tooth talking. <laughs> Not even Christmas yet. You can never have too much chocolate, Storm. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, I need to uh, type up a list of like all games I'm interested to um, play. Like, whether streaming or gameplay or whatever. But, yeah. I don't know what my eyes are doing. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> you gonna kill me? Well, I mean, if you eat it in moderation, it should be fine. Like, I have uh, just a big old bag of, like, Hershey nuggets. Yeah, you want to see what's on your list? Yeah. There's, um... Some PS4 games. Hello, Maurice. Hello. Welcome. This is just a just chatting stream. Normally, this is my game day. So, usually on Fridays right now, I play Amnesia. But, um, you know, I normally start streaming at noon, but I had a thing with a flu shot at a certain time you know, in the middle of my streaming, so I couldn't just, you know, start streaming and then end. We also have some panna um, to eat. I don't know what that is, but um, thankfully I have a mobile cellular device, so <laughs> I can just look that up. Um, Oh, I spelled it wrong. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> That's a very Italian sounding name. The only thing I can think of is panna cotta, but I know that's not what that is. And if my phone could load, that would be great. Oh, that looks so good. So panettone is an Italian type of sweet bread, but it looks so good. Oh, with panettone, with panna cotta. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do need to. Also, um, I think I added some panels uh, below my, uh, I think I added some panels, you know, like about me. I probably need to add more to that, like basic chat rules. Eventually, I'll add a schedule. I'll probably do that this weekend. And I think I added a donate button, and that one goes to my coffee, 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 coffee. The one has chocolate in it. Mm. The banners are cute. Thank you. I tried to make it, you know, sort of look like in my uh, streaming overlay, I tried to make it sort of like that. And I tried to reuse, you know, like the same colors. No, it's okay, Atomic. I'm late too, <laughs> technically speaking. So yeah, don't worry about it. It's just chatting today anyway, so I mean, because it started so late. <laughs> because of my flu shot. But, uh, yes, I do need to add a 
<laughs> you were caught off guard because you were downloading. Yeah. I want to stay true to my uh, streaming schedule and, you know, stream a little bit today. Um, oh, also, I, I think I was trying to say it earlier and then I just completely forgot. I did make my uh, highlights and VOD, like, uh, channel. Chatting is the best part. Ooh, that's a good point. <laughs> Trying. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I made uh, that. Only my art stuff's up there right now. I'm gonna get nice and full of content eventually. Yeah, that's true. There we go. Making stuff for YouTube feels hard. Mm. Oh, my tea is cooling down so I can actually drink it more. Oh yeah, while I was uh, sleeping, this morning, uh, Maple was just yelling at my door. She demanded. So I figured the VOD thing out. Yeah, I figured out how to export it. It does take a little bit because, you know, my VODs are about a few hours long. But I do have them up for the most part. I do need to uh, get the most recent one of, I think, line arting sucrose. But yes. I figured that out. That chibi pig. Yep. Uh, not pig. <laughs> yes, that is my baby Grace. Not Grace, oh my god. Uh, that is Chess. She is one of my uh, main characters that I like to draw. Um, she's in a main group of four, uh, of four, four girls. You know, almost like a girl group. But not. But yes, I was um, shading that, and that was one of the many streams where it ended chaotically. I know that uh, some of the um, VODs, you know, I didn't get, it was before I made that channel. But like so many of. <laughs> The streams ended chaotically. Like, I think the last time I used to stream, my laptop crashed. So that was fun. And yes, uh... You just fought a mosquito and lost. Oh no, <laughs> it'll be bothering you forever. Oh, I feel that. I'm, like, during the summer, I mean, it's a good thing I'm basically a hermit. <laughs> I stay in my room a lot of the time, but, like, oh my god, during the summer, I'm always the worst bitten and sunburnt. Everything in the summer just hates me. Everything in summer just hates me, and... The only thing I can think of is the Saitama, uh, you know, trying to get that fly scene. Like, he's, like, aggressively trying to get this fly, and the fly just keeps flying off. <laughs> Had a swarm of flies. Oh, dear. 
I used your clothes to break line of sight and then vanished. Oof. Hopefully you don't get bitten up too bad. The man who can destroy a sun can't destroy a single mosquito. I feel that. Honestly. <laughs> Oh yeah, flies. Oof. Yeah, flies are not fun. At all. Poor spiders. I'm an arachnophobe. I don't like spiders at all. Oh, your mom's a mosquito magnet? I tend to be. <laughs> Bugs just like me. Like the other day, we took um, Oliver out front, and I think brushing up one of the bushes got a spider to bite me on my shoulder. I had like a big old bite. It was itchy. Thankfully it was gone within like a day or two, and it wasn't too bad. It wasn't like anything like bad or anything. It wasn't like from a venomous spider, it just itched. But yeah, <laughs> bugs just like me, and I don't like them, which sucks. Oof, there are so many flies where you were staying. Oh dear. I totally know how that feels, though. You've never been bitten by a spider. That's lucky. I mean, honestly, for the most part, like, the spider bites I've gotten were never too bad. I mean, they're just like regular bug bites, only the bite, you know, like the uh, race part, you know, like the itchy part, and they tend to be more hard and they are, it's really hot to the touch. That's about really the only difference. Just, you just put, you know, like itch cream on it and stuff, and then it's usually gone within a day or two, maybe a couple more. You don't really come across spiders. Ooh, you like to hold spiders? Yeah. <laughs> I just don't really like <laughs> spiders at all. You've never had a bad encounter with a spider? That's good. Oh, cockroaches. Ooh. It's like a cross between a mosquito bite and a sunburn. Yeah. Only it doesn't really hurt. It's just itches. Uh, yeah. You try to take spiders outside? <laughs> you would take a flamethrower to cockroaches. I hear... This, uh... mm. Cockroaches. Aren't... I can't remember. It's either cockroaches or ants that can basically survive, like, the nuclear apocalypse. <laughs> Flying cockroaches? Uh, uh, no thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> they spread to season breed faster than rats, but only maybe. Oh, it is roaches? Okay, good. My memory can be a little, eh. Uh, Sometimes, like, I don't even... <laughs> That's why we see one in Wally's. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Roaches are homebred. <laughs> yeah, just bugs are not good. And, um, the only problem with spiders... Like, I don't really mind if they're, like, outside, so, I mean, thankfully I've been getting better about my arachnophobia, but I still don't like them in the house. You provide roaches their food, <laughs> not the other way around, yeah. Yeah, but, like, we have to kill the spiders in our house, because Maple, my cat, will basically try to play with them. <laughs> like she'll like swat at them and like it'll just be like laying flat on the floor it's like please if I don't move she can't see me 
Oh my god, you can actually become allergic to them? Jesus. So, oh my god, so roaches just exist. Wow. But Oliver, oh my god, Oliver, we don't know what is up with this little boy. Oof, but he, um, he will eat the legs off of spiders. Like, he, he won't kill it, we don't think. But, and he won't eat the rest of it. He will just eat the legs off of spiders. Like, we found a couple of little, tiny little corpses. You know, legless spider corpses. And we just kind of look at him. we're like, Ollie, what'd you do? <laughs> yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of spiders. But, like, <laughs> we're just like, oh my god. Oh, your kitten ate a full roach. Oh, Dear, was the cat okay? I hope so. Got a fridge off of eBay. There were like hundreds. Oh god. Oh. Okay, the cat's good. Okay, okay. Oh dear god. And he lives in an apartment complex. Oh. That does not sound fun at all. Your dog ate a darkwing beetle once. Oh, she threw up and never ate another bug again. Thankfully, uh, Maisie, my parents' dog, doesn't really want to eat bugs. But uh, she does have a tendency to roll in dead things, you know, as dogs do. And like, I once saw her rolling in something, you know, by the fence, and I'm like, what the heck? And I went down to investigate, and it was a dead snake. He killed, quote unquote, killed, killed them all, but he still finds a stray every eighth month or something. Ooh. That's not fun. Things like that are not fun, like bringing in things. Oh yeah, bringing in things. I actually have a sort of story about that. That's more, it's more from my dad though. So basically when I was, you know, like a little baby, little toddler, this was while my dad was still out on patrol and stuff. So he would, you know, be outside, you know. And um, so one night, I don't remember like all the details, but somehow he had managed to bring in a baby scorpion on his leg. He brought in a scorpion on his pants leg and he didn't even know. So now, yeah, how, yeah, yeah. My mom was freaking out. <laughs> they got, they managed to get rid of it. Yeah, the scorpion just hits right on my dad. <laughs> and I love him, but he's not always the most... He's sometimes quite oblivious, so, like, it, it's not really... Yeah. But, yeah. Baby me probably would have gotten in a fight with a scorpion and then lost. Probably. Because when I was little, the most you have is a scorpion inside a glass container. Ooh. You don't even know if it's real or not? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love that. Does it move? That is the biggest question. That is the best question to ask. Dead as hell. <laughs> So it's either dead or fake. Take your pick. <laughs> Therefore, it's not real. I mean, it's still kind of is real if it's dead, but like, yeah. It doesn't have to move to be real. worst are maggots. Oof. Well, I mean, yeah, they're disgusting. 
It's dead, it's just a chunk of elements. That's true. But, um, I mean, maggots can be pretty useful. I mean, like, if you place them on a wound, I mean, it's very gross. I, at one point, I sort of wanted to be, you know, like a ER doctor. But maggots will eat away the dead tissue and stuff. So, I mean, useful, but gross. <laughs> you were just about to talk about that. Yeah. Maggots are just baby bugs. Uh, I can't remember what. Yeah, baby flies, baby flies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still pretty gross, though. They can be kind of helpful, but like, caterpillars are maggots in the sense of the word. Yeah, kind of true. Like, if we're, whenever we go out for walks, especially in the skirts, the spring, I don't even know what word I was trying to say there. Um, I will, I like to take the caterpillars off of the walking trail and put them more towards, you know, like the foresty area. It just makes me feel good. Like, oh, little buddy, be free. Don't get eaten. A millipede or a centipede? I don't know. I don't really think I like either of them. <laughs> a fly that'll lay eggs on your skin. Ah! Oh, that is sick. That's so interesting. So, like, do they do that to, like, live or dead people? That's the question. Yeah, roaches are really the only bugs you encounter. Okay. Yeah. Ants, yeah, ants are inevitable. We've been having a sort of ant sort of infestation thing. I sort of have a slight story with that. So the exterminator, I come out because we had been having, yeah, they probably do it on carcasses. Oh, ooh, that's, they do it on living people? Ooh. Ugh. But yeah, no, so the exterminator had come out, you know, like, place the stuff. So, like, the stuff was, like, sweet stuff, liquidy things, sort of, like, sugary things. But it's, like, toxic to, like, ants once they get it. But it's sweet so that they take it back to the nest. So they kill it from the nest. And, and so I had placed my hand on the counter. And I think my finger got up under the counter. And there was something sweet on my hand that I could smell. So, <laughs> my dumb brain was like, huh, what's this? And I immediately put my finger in my mouth and I had a, it was a bad time. It wasn't, obviously it wasn't like enough for me to like get sick or anything, but like it tasted terrible. And I was basically retching. I was like, ah, I'm like, no. And I had to wait for my tea to finish. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a baby. Yes, I'm a baby. <laughs> I saw this strange substance on my hand, and my first instinct was to put it in my mouth. <laughs> my parents got a good laugh out of that, because I'm like, I'm not sick. I didn't even swallow any of it. I was like immediately spitting it out, like I kept spitting. <laughs> Unknown and probably unsanitary. <laughs> yeah, it was very stupid of me. Yep. 
You should try that liquid thing for ants, but you're scared roses will be interested. Yeah, because I could tell you, like, when I first tasted it, it, it did taste sweet. A and then the aftertaste, it killed me and I was dead. I was super dead. It was not, it was not fun at all. <laughs> I wonder what it tastes like. It was sticky. So I think my brain thought that it was like syrup, you know, that had somehow gotten left on the counter or something. And so I was like, oh, maybe it's syrup. I don't know. And then I made a huge mistake. So the ants taste sweet and then death? Uh, I think so. So it's sweet so that, you know, they sort of take it back to the nest so that it, you know, it kills them from the nest. They get a second of euphoria before their demise. Yeah. And it's more or less the same for humans. Well, I mean, I'm just saying what I experienced, <laughs> which was not a fun experience. It was not fun. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Um, it was not a smart idea. Yeah, it's meant for insects. Mom found the counter syrup. <laughs> oh boy. So yes, if you ever have an exterminator come to your house, and you think, you're like, hey, maybe I should try this, this stuff for some reason. Don't, do not, you will not have a good time, you will die. <laughs> Let's talk about bees and honey. Ooh. I haven't really tried honey. But I think it's good in tea. Even though I'm drinking tea right now, I think the next time... Thanks for the advice, yes. Yes, I uh, suffered so you don't have to. <laughs> but yeah, I think next time I'll make tea, I'm going to try putting some honey in it. Well, at first I was sort of scared of bees. I don't really mind them because it's wasps who are the nasty ones, for the most part. I mean, when I'm outside, and really inside, really, too, I don't really try to um, mess with the bugs. Mostly because I, I don't want them coming after me in, like, the middle of the night or something. Yeah. <laughs> Honeybees? Yeah. What about the bees and the birds? No! This is family friendly, Storm. Family friendly, no! <laughs> birds eat the bees. That's true. Most chill bees are bumblebees. Oh. Yeah. There aren't really many flowers. Well, I mean, there sort of are, like, around my house. Those are adorable. I love bees. The bees and the birds are so friendly. Yeah. We often have, you know, we have some trees, you know, especially by windows. And Oliver will just stare so intensely at, at the birds. <laughs> like, if he's ever staring outside, we're like, oh, you found something. You found a bird. Oh, you can pet a bumblebee. Bumblebee. You just don't live anywhere. You only see it being 
seen a beef. Uh, I can word. I can English. <laughs> That's a thing I can do. Well, not that bees are bad. That's true. In fact, uh, most insects really aren't. Like, even spiders. You'd rather not pet them? Just let them vibe? Yeah, I feel that. Well, maybe except ticks. Because... Maisie gets so, like, you can tell when something's off with her, and that's usually when she gets, like, if she has a tick on her. So ticks are not good, but, like, how would you feel if a giant ra stranger randomly started petting you? Or, yeah, just even a giant in general. I don't know. I mean... Which brings us to the next sponsor. Honey! <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but I just popped my back. Oh, so Next door doggos are going woof. <laughs> Maybe you want money. And honey. <laughs> Honey is actually for children. Oh! <laughs> I love how Storm said that and Marie just immediately went into that. But, huh, I didn't know that. The dormant form of the that causes the black clay. Oh, boy. As long as it doesn't come back into real life, well, not like real life, but like, as long as it doesn't come back, like, full force in 2020, I think we'll be good. <laughs> so if you coat honey into candy, they can catch the plague. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in theory, probably, but please don't actually do that in real life, please. Please. We already have one dangerous virus going on. We don't need another. Again. Time to boot out my boy talker mask. Any actually antibacterial? Whoa! It's just like in the honey. Oh, that's interesting. Also, theoretically, you could rob a bank for free money. Yeah, that's true. Don't actually do that. Yeah, not gonna do it, but it's, it's effective. Honestly, dangerous things, the only thing I could do that is in video games. And even then, like, I feel anxiety. Like, when you had to steal the liar in Genshin, it was one of those things. I was so tense. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get caught. Even though when you just get, get caught, you just go back to the beginning of the level. But, uh, I was just so tense about that. Yeah. You could also mug some money on the street, and that is also true. And I'm also, again, gonna be here, like, please don't, please don't do that. Please. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Shout out on them. <laughs> My time. <laughs> Just the way you word it. That's, that's honestly amazing. Go to a new home. They give you a shout out on national news. It's surprisingly easy to scan the bank. Oof. I don't really know much about scanning and but I don't know if it's like scanning but it's like it's only a matter of time before a bot shows up in chat I know it's gonna happen I know it's gonna happen like as soon as I say it it's gonna happen Ooh. some people I'm putting emojis software by putting emojis. Could you imagine? Like you work really hard on this thing and then it all comes crashing down because one dude decided it would be a brilliant idea to put emojis in their password. Oh, and you had this in the back burner waiting to use it someday. And today is that day. <laughs> emojis bad. Yeah, I had no idea you could use emojis in the password. Yeah, I don't think anyone did, you yeah, know, very true. Yeah, the software wasn't equipped to handle it, I could imagine. Had <laughs> a catastrophic failure. Oh no. Hopefully it was just reinstalled. Could you imagine having to remake that? Use 2FA for all of your important accounts. <laughs> Victor speak a thousand words. And apparently those thousand words crashed the entire bank thing, so like... It was someone with a bit of money and they ended up getting sued and settled. Ooh, for like 50,000. I'm sorry, but like, could you imagine just trying to do this thing? Okay, you're trying to do something maybe a little bit creative and then you end up crashing an entire like, basically like, bank software and then getting sued. All because you just wanted to use an emoji in your password. Like, that's just kind of crazy, right? <laughs> Couldn't be me. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, if you're using emojis, you would have to constantly, like, look up and then copy and paste all, you know, the emoji, like if you're on a computer. So I'm thinking this dude had to have done it on his phone. We live in a society. Yeah, we just live in a society. That's it. That's all we do. <laughs> mm. 
and paper that makes password stronger. That is true. Oh, you think Windows actually has a kind of shortcut to get to an emoji list now? Oh, that's interesting. Windows 10? Huh. But yeah, I'm glad my panels work. You encountered something like that yesterday? Time to not use that feature. Yeah, I feel that. Like, my laptop, I don't ever use, I think it's Cortana, I think, but I don't ever use that. I don't ever use, like, any, like, you know, thing that requires you to, like, use your voice to turn it, like, off or on or something. I prefer to use it from my... It's a Windows key plus V. Oh, I don't know what that does. So I don't want to do it. Cortana. So a Siri. <laughs> also kind of cringe since it's a Halo reference. Yeah, I don't know. Whenever it comes to things like that, I don't ever use it. Like I prefer to just type it. It's probably just my anxiety. But, yeah, I just don't like it. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's just a clipboard. Oh, I see. Oh, that's very interesting. So, yeah. That's cool. Mm, da -da. I think she's still trying. So, I just wanted a short little stream thing today. I didn't want to go for like too long. Let me just bring up. Okay. So, darn, they're playing words on stream. Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to... Hmm. Darn. Oh well. I mean, right in the middle of something, but hopefully it can still work. So I want to raid. I'm gonna be raiding my friend Momo. Oh, Windows plus Shift plus Home. Let you make a snip of part of your screen. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Wait a little bit until she goes to sleep. So I am going to type up a list of games that I'm interested in, you know, like playing or streaming. Uh, I might start streaming uh, Pumpkin Days next week on Wednesday. You know, the game that I was gushing to you guys about. <laughs> So, 
I did. Oh yeah, I told you guys that I made that uh, VOD in Highlights channel. So, darn, I'm still in the middle of the Momo's on break. Ugh. I wanna wait until she's off of break so we can just chat a little bit more. So how are you guys? <laughs> And then, I still need to figure out channel points. I want that to be a thing. You're trying out fighting games thanks to the Steam Snap? Ooh, maybe I'll have to check that out too. Your comics line art, oof. Oh, you got assigned a bunch of homework? Oh man, that sucks. It was a sale specific, it finished like a week ago. Oh, <laughs> Holy which way. You're working on your comics line art, yeah. Stuff, I hear stuff, yeah, I, well, I mean, I'm an artist, so I know line arting takes a while to finish. And I've also been trying to do, you know, like, um, what's, what's the word? Ooh, teachers who assign homework over book is cringe. The games you got are cheap to begin with, though. That's good. Yeah. Smart shopper. Oh, I was a smart shopper. So, I think it was last week. So there were some games on Switch that I had been wanting, you know, it was uh, My Time at Porsche and then Darkwood, you know, and they were both on sale. It was like really good, like Porsche was like 75% off. And I had like about 500-ish coins from, you know, previous online pur purchases. So I ended up only paying $10 for both those games, like in total. It's crazy. I'm like, heck yeah. Game over? Okay. The coins are great addition. Yeah, they really are. Okay, so yeah, that's a steal. Yeah, heck yeah, it was. Let's see. Okay, she's back. Stands for Smash. So we're going to be raiding my friend Momo. She is, I don't know if that worked. Yeah, about $30. Nice. Darn. Raid. Hello, raid. Will that work? Hello? Might have to do it manually. Okay. Does that work? No. How do I do it manually? I don't. Gosh darn it. How do I? No, I don't want to. Stream manager. Stream manager. Stream manager. Oh. Oh, darn it. It worked last time. 
here. Maybe everything, maybe it has to be like... I go, ah, I had accidentally muted myself. I didn't even notice. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. Darn. I guess if that raid isn't working, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Your manager is not working. Let me just look it up real quick. Sorry! Uh, technical difficulties, you know, as usual. I have no voice, but I must scream. I feel bad. Oh, I was doing it wrong. Story of my life. Wait. There we go. <laughs> there we go. It now works. So I'm gonna stop music. worrying too much about the tech issues, thankfully. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think it's going to say three, two, one. Learning experiences. Yep. So.